And it goes a little yeah. something like getting lunch but just sharing a wrap each because really hungry and we've still got an hour and 24 minutes to go so yeah it's on the left just working out what side the fuel tank is on <laughs> got a coffee as well and of course it was torrential raining for like Five seconds. <laughs> Five seconds, and I just washed my hair, so I wasn't happy about that, but it seems to be fine, so it's all right. Yay, one hour the 22 minutes! I saw you like sprinting towards the road and it just stopped because I knew you were going to run onto the road. Yeah, smart. Smart car! <laughs> surprised mom she was surprised which is so cute and now we're gonna see the doggy leo i think my brother's at home as well that's leo barking <laughs> i need to open the door you oh we got parcels in here hello 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 baby Hi. Your bum in my face. Have you missed us? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, now he's sat on me again. Aren't you beautiful, baby? Hey. I oh, know, yeah, your coat looks lovely, Leo. You look very healthy. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Ooh. Come here. You do look a lot bigger. You've definitely grown. Yeah. Muscle on, his, muscle, muscle on his back legs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really <laughs> Brother's outside with his pink top on. <laughs> See if I can get his attention. Hey, mate. <laughs> How long have you got until you're free? What do you mean? Woof. <laughs> you alright? How are you? Yeah, yeah good. Good. Good flight. Huh? How was the flight? Is alright? Oh. Woo! What are you doing? Oh, you're keeping a for right now. Hello everyone! It's been a few days since the last recording and we've been busy sorting out our lives, working. Is it ever going to be sorted? Is it ever going to be sorted? We don't know. We are just on the way to a restaurant called The Bonnest in Newcastle because it's Joe's birthday today. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. good to know. <laughs> Thanks for that, Joe. Broke the door. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just starting to catch up with you. Um, it's 
surprised my mum and then we went for dinner and drinks with the fam and some family friends got very drunk we drank beer wine gin it was just like the worst concoction that you could ever put together basically which was not the best idea <laughs> but it's fine we survived yeah so yes hungover and i will be talking in this vlog and i'm actually going to explain why we left australia finally um, but for now we're going to enjoy joe's birthday and we are going to eat Food. Food and drink. Drinks. Drink drinks and yeah. Oh, there's a people. There's a people? I didn't realize there's a people. Okay. What's <laughs> that called? I'm not sure. Grey's Monument. What was it? Grey's Monument. Oh, very nice. It's very busy in town today. In the city, in the city, right? It's like really um intimate. Cute. Quite like this. Make sure to not fall over. <laughs> oh. I think it was a quiet one. I love the art. Yeah. It's really pretty. Oh, did you get it? No, I thought you were going for the... No, yeah. not, today. not today. So I told him it was Joe's birthday. So we put that there, which is thank you. Birthday, and then we got a good little window to people watch, which is great. I don't recognize this bit. None of you have ever walked down there. We, so we, when we went out down the street side, just straight down that way. Hey! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> He's gone all the way down there. Bye! So I got calamari, this cool little shell. Joe's gone for chicken wings, what a surprise. What a surprise, I never And he's gone for burger for mains, what a surprise. <laughs> Can I zoom in anymore? No, it's not zoomed in. <laughs> this is the botanist porn star. And it has, oh, I threw my tissue on the floor. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Vodka, passion fruit liqueur, shaking with pineapple juice and lemon, piece of pea, rose and strawberry. Pea. Pea. <laughs> so we'll see what it's like. Pea. Oh, well, this looks good. I haven't had fish and chips, but hey, yeah. I'll take a video of him. Hi. We've been looking at this guy for ages. I don't know what he's doing, but he just keeps coming back and <laughs> standing there. He might not be. He might be a normal guy. Anyway, right. Yeah, nice food. Okay, that looks cool. Really good. It does look good, doesn't it? Mmm. It's just a lot of food. You're not going to finish it. I might. You're going to need help, aren't you? No. Stay away from it until I've decided. <laughs> so we got the cookie dough. Apparently, it's very hot out of the oven. And I was forced to share. No. He's happy to share. <laughs> <laughs> We are very full right now, extremely. We had the crunchy cookie dough at the end. Oh my God. It's like it's just come out of the oven. We were like, oh my God. I love it when dessert's made fresh and it's like, what? Yeah, it looked like it was like nothing. And then there was like loads of cookie dough. And we're like, oh my God, it was amazing. This lighting is not the best, but anyway. It's good for the art that I create. Oh, for God's sake. Right. right, well, we're having a little walk around Newcastle Quayside. We had our meals. Why is it really dark? Because it's about to rain. Fantastic. And I've got a denim jacket on. Yeah. Can we go in there? Should we? Okay. Yeah. I go in the slug and lettuce for a wee drink. I must have forgot to fill out what I'm for. No, yeah, I need to go get another one. <laughs> so, Do another two? Huh? Do you another two? Yeah. We'll get two. I won't get one. Yeah, one. 
so so it wasn't supposed to be a late night anyway but we feel quite tired <laughs> 26 25 do you have anything to say no comment no comment he's like oh i don't want to be spending all my money and waking up hungover i was like to be honest same just want to like have a chill night have some drinks and yeah so cheers to being older and a bit more sensible a little wiser sort of okay. hello guys so it's been a bit of time before <laughs> After Joe's birthday, we went for that meal, we had some drinks, and then we were like, nope, we're tired, let's go back. And then we ended up watching Ace Ventura, which if you haven't watched it, it's amazing, funny, Jim Carrey's in it, and he's just incredible, as you all know, probably. So yeah, I just thought I would check back in. I'm going to be talking today about why we left Australia and why we're back in the UK now. Um, I'm not going to go into all the nitty gritty details, but I'm just going to give you like a brief overview um, and maybe so you can know in the future what you would want to do, you know, after you've had some years in Australia doing a working holiday visa, if you wanted to do something different, um, just some things to take into consideration, because I wish I did, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just having some breakfast, some like blueberry wheats, really good. The ones from Morrison's and like Sainsbury's can be a bit expensive when they're like all the branded stuff, but you can get them from little from like a pound something if you like flavored sort of wheat stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna chat to you. Um, yeah. Yes, we have found a spot to record. Oh, I've got my uh, claw clip in. I don't even know if it looks good, but it's fine. And I just thought I'd say, put some lip gloss on. <clears throat> and this is like my favorite thing ever at the moment because it's moisturizing and it looks good and it's, I don't know, like it's just, it's just great. I've not got the biggest lips in the world to kind of portray it, <laughs> but <laughs> either way. It's the Refi, this isn't a product video by the way, I'm just recommending it. Um, it's just the Refi lip gloss, it's, yeah. Um, I think it distributes worldwide and I would recommend it. So yeah, have a look. Moisturize and it's like glossy as well, which is really nice. So let's get into it. Let's get into the chat about Australia and why we're here again and yeah I would say one thing I've definitely learned from that situation is to plan 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 like I know some things you can't plan for and that's just how life works and it's not a perfect bubble of great things all the time <clears throat> I don't know I feel like I was so oh there's a little leaning bit I can lean on which is good <laughs> I was so focused on being back in Australia that I feel like I wasn't fully enjoying when I lived in the UK um, and I think just I just missed the experiences over there and it's I feel like it's so different being 26 compared to 22 because that's when I first went over um, I've been to Australia before travel and stuff but it's the first time I've been over to do like a travel, you know, and stay there for maybe a while. Um, I wasn't actually too sure, to be honest, when I first went there. I went there for like, I was going to only go for like a few months and then I ended up staying for three years. So that was the first time I went, but I feel like it's such a different, I don't know, like different mindset or different part of my life and it's i don't know just learning from those things and don't you know judge yourself on what you've said in the past like if you've said oh yeah i want to live in australia for the rest of my life and i'm gonna do whatever i can to make it happen that's kind of where i was at when i was 
22, 23, and I was like, I don't see anywhere else being as good as Australia. Um, you know, I don't really like the UK, I don't like the weather, like I just kind of slated it. And I feel like people around me were sort of saying the same thing, like they didn't want to go to the, back to the UK, they're, they're gonna try and stay in Australia off the farm work and yeah, I just, I kind of held myself to that a little bit and I was like, well if I've said that it means that I need to prove it to people or it means that I need to do it because I've said it. It's like saying, I don't know, when you were younger that I want to take up, um, what's an example of this? I don't know. Um, I want to take up, I want to take up, what do I want to take up? Okay, let's say you, I don't know, you love dancing and you're like, I want to be a dancer and I'm going to, you know, be a famous dancer and it's going to be great. And you end up not doing it. And it's like, oh, I feel like I've let myself down and it's like such a downer because I didn't do the things I said I was going to do. And, you know, sometimes we don't know what, well, we don't know, sometimes, like in life, we don't know what's going to happen, we don't know what lies in front of us, so just being more open about things and planning a little bit more, um, reading fine prints, that's definitely one that I would suggest, <laughs> so that you don't end up in a kerfuffle and you're like, oh, well, I didn't read that in the fine print, um, so it's definitely made me read contracts more intensely and to and just yeah making sure you read contracts so i went there on a student visa um and i knew i wanted to study something i knew i wanted to learn something but not necessarily have to do it i didn't really want to do it for that amount of time like it is quite a long time to do it for a year with something that yeah marketing is amazing but there's so much out there that's a bit more like new and fresh and new ideas and you know because my dad's a coach I've learned how many things out there that there is with learning stuff and how you can hire a coach in almost any avenue like it's, it's incredible so yeah I I sort of went and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a go but I didn't I don't know I didn't really fully commit in my head even though I knew I was going to do it, I was like, yep, yeah, fine, whatever. But I'm also someone that if they don't like something, I I can't really force myself to do something that I don't like for like a really long time. So I didn't really take that into consideration. So I wasn't really being honest with myself. Um, but in my head, I was like, I can do it. Like, it's fine. And then when I started doing it, I did like two classes of the marketing course and it just it just didn't feel right and i was like oh my god how am i gonna do this for like a year so yeah i basically straight away was like what do i do what's the solution um is there a solution i find i found a fitness course and i was like ah had an epiphany i was speaking to my coach at the time michaela she's incredible and she was like you've got to be happy you know you've got to you got to like what you're doing and I've always loved fitness and if I can pair that with my acting as well then that would be amazing so yeah that's when I had an epiphany and it was great so I I'm happy I made that jump and I'm happy we did that I'm happy we went because we both learned a lot about ourselves and about each other and about life yeah so I got the offer letter from the school from TAFE and so you basically have to get an offer letter from the other provider to show the other provider so you can be like yep this is what i want to do instead but i didn't know that you had to do six months of study with that same place i don't know whether it was just my school that i attended but they said yeah you have to do six months of study with us before you can transfer and i was like right so I have to, you know, spend the money and the time doing something I don't enjoy to then do something else afterwards. And even though I was like, I really want to do the fitness course, I don't know, it just didn't make sense in my head. It didn't sit well with me. And I was like, okay. So I um, had some big decisions to make and it took time. 
we were both very confused because we were like, right, we've come here and you know, now we don't know what we're doing or where we're going or what step to take next. And it was, yeah, it was a very hard time. And I don't know, I felt like I let him down because, you know, Australia is an amazing place. I need to, I need to change my feet around oh, because I'm currently leaning on the feet for extra height. Yeah, so I just, I don't know, I felt like I was letting him down, letting people down because, you know, his family was like, oh my god, are you going to Australia? And yeah, I don't know. It is what it is and, you know, they, everyone's been really supportive about what's happened and I feel like sometimes we make it such a big thing in our head and it's, it's not really, like... People change their minds all the time. People have different paths that they didn't realize they had until it becomes it becomes irrelevant, becomes relevant and becomes out in the open. So yeah, I don't know. It's definitely something to take into consideration if you are wanting to do a student visa or study something in Australia that it may be the same all round for every school that you have to do six months of study before you can transfer if you change your mind on something. Um, I just didn't think I was gonna change my mind. I, I was like, I was set, I was like, yeah, marketing, cool, but it was just really outdated. Um, from my experience, the teachers didn't seem particularly passionate about it or like really interested in it. And I, I, can't, I get it, but anyway, I don't because if you're teaching something to students and you want them to excel, you should be like, oh my god, yeah, guys, um, I'm really interested to share with you this with you today. And I don't know, it just wasn't like that. I kind of was like, okay, cool. Uh, so that was my experience, and it's it's still a bit frustrating now to think, you know, it didn't go to plan. But also, you know, Australia is always going to be there, and we feel right now to be here. And it just feels right to be here. Um, I'm actually looking at some PT courses to start, which is really exciting. Honestly, like, I don't know. Coming off there, sorry. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to bring you guys with me on this journey because I will be posting more fitness and a mindset content. Like, that's what I want to do as well on here, as well as like little vlogs that, you know, I take you away somewhere or whatever, but yeah, that's what I want my channel to be about, is like positivity, mindset, um, body, uh, fitness. Uh, I'm gonna eventually, when we're a bit more settled, because we're currently living in my, in Jo's mum's house. She's been very happy and um, very lovely to let us stay with her. So we're staying with her for now. And then we are looking for somewhere to rent in Manchester too. So I'm going to bring you with me on the moving process when we finally find somewhere. And we're like, right, moving time. So there's lots more amazing content to come. And I hope you guys are with me on this journey. I really do appreciate all the support and, you know, subscribers that are coming on board. And I just want to say thank you so much. Honestly, like, every time I see a subscriber come on, I'm like, oh, thank you. And... Yep, this is where we start. We start out like this and we start out, you know, s smaller than the other YouTubers, which is fine because we all have our own starting place. So yeah, I just want to say I'm very grateful and there's going to be amazing content to come and I love sharing this with you guys and I'm really excited to get into my fitness and wellness stuff too. I will be doing a little I guess episodes and videos on that. Um, I can't wait until we're in our new place and I think we're going for like a two bed place for now. Um, where I can just have my own like YouTube content space and be able to do like self tapes for my acting there and get like a background and fairy lights and it's just gonna be great. And like I have the vision in my head of what it's gonna be like. And I'm gonna start making a Pinterest board of like different themes for the house and Oh, I'm just very excited, basically. And yeah, so that's what happened. And hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like if you did. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.